Hey, it's Carl with Electric Bike Blog, and I'm here to show you two different electric wheelbarrows that were custom built, and they're completely different and have different purposes and different usages. So you can see on the left here, we have the wheelbarrow that I built with a small electric bike motor. So I bought this on Alibaba for about, it was about $70 plus $60 shipping. Um, and this is rated for 48 volts, although I'm running it with a 56 volt Ego battery, which is really 52 volts nom nominal. And I just put it together with pieces I had laying around. So I've got a, a 17 amp controller there, and then I've got a twist throttle that I kind of jury rigged with some zip ties and to make it a trigger th throttle. And there you can see I've got an Ego charger that I rewired. Um, and that runs to the e-bike controller. All the plugs are just wrapped in plastic so they don't get shorted out. And then it's quiet, it's light. Um, the disadvantage of this is that it's only a five to one reduction. So it's a geared motor. There's plastic gears inside the hub. And also the wheel is quite a bit smaller than the other one. You can see that's a stock uh, wheel for this wheelbarrow and this one is several inches smaller so I had to put it up on wooden blocks to get it to line up correctly. Also uh, I had to weld on, you can see right here, I basically welded on a piece to keep the motor from turning. So that's a torque arm, that's Dr. Bass's torque arm and that one I just welded on a little nut. Um, and so that's a little bit more complicated because you have to weld. This is a Cyclone kit. This is 3,000 watts, so it's over twice as powerful as the other kit. Uh, and it's a chain drive, so it's a huge reduction, about 40 to 1. And I had to get uh, some standoffs that go all the way through the wheel and bolt on the other side. I wrote an article about this, and then me and my friend Sean built another one. And he's running it with an 80-volt battery. Uh, this is only a 56 volt battery and it's got a 40 amp controller and this thing is incredibly powerful and it's a lot of fun. And this, is, this is good for about, uh, I would say 500, maybe 600 pounds tops. The the e-bike motor wheel, that one's good for maybe 200 pounds. I probably wouldn't move more than 200 pounds. So this is good for wood chips and light stuff and the mid-drive motor is good for really heavy loads. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel electricbikeblog.com